Welcome back to How to Cake It. I'm Yolanda, and this week I'm caking a giant gold nugget in honor of St. Patrick's Day. To make this cake, I baked three round chocolate Guinness cakes. So you can get the recipe over here on the blog, and there's actual Guinness in the chocolate cake bag. And if that isn't enough of a party, I added Bailey's Irish cream to my cream cheese frosting and my chocolate ganache. And later on, I'm gonna be using sponge toffee, homemade sponge toffee, which I will show you how to make. Let's start with removing my cakes from their pans. I think I'll use a spatula from my tool board <laughs> that I organized. Isn't it beautiful? It's oh, so squeeze! I'm gonna level these cakes and layer them in two. I wanna make the leprechauns happy this time around. <laughs> so I'm making them like the biggest gold nugget that they can eat. And maybe they'll forgive me for things I said about them in a previous episode. Leprechauns only get to shine one day a year. I think this hat would crush a leprechaun. I tried to research leprechauns. There are no leprechaun facts, really. It's just, it's like they're make-believe. I've actually decided not to level my third cake. I'm just gonna layer it in two. I think the hump is gonna work to my advantage. Come here, sir. I'm gonna shower these cake layers with simple syrup and let it soak in. Now I need to fill a piping bag with my Bailey's cream cheese frosting and another piping bag with my Bailey's chocolate ganache. And both of my piping bags have a nice big round tip on the end. It's time to fill these cakes. I'm going to pipe my fillings into my cake in alternating rings. I'm gonna begin with the chocolate ganache because that's sturdier along the outside then pipe Bailey's cream cheese, then pipe Bailey's ganache, Bailey's cream cheese, you get it. Woo! Look at that, it's like a ganache bullseye. Oh, I can smell it from over there. See? Yeah. So wait, the green chocolate. I melted my green candy melts. Very St. Patrick's Day. I'm gonna drizzle it over top. Are you ready for this, Cody? Are you ready for this? Yeah? <laughs> Just throwing in some green. And now I'm gonna add another layer of cake. We're having a party after this. I did one layer, I'm gonna continue to do this all the way up. Guys, we're almost at four million. We are super, super close. As a thank you for being here with us, we're doing a huge giveaway. To join our giveaway, just click the link below. We're giving away four KitchenAid Pro Series stand mixers with attachments. We have sprinkle service for a year for 20 people. We have an amazing prize pack from Sesame Street because it's their 50th anniversary and a Google Home Hub set that Orhan hasn't managed to get his hands on yet. It can be yours. Please subscribe if you haven't already because the sooner you do, the sooner we can party. By the way, thank you to KitchenAid for the amazing mixers and thank you to Sesame Street for the super cute prize pack. Happy anniversary. My cake is chilled and now it's time to turn it into a nugget. So I'm going to start with my cake scraps, which I saved, and I'm gonna just break chunks off and glue them to this cake with some more chocolate ganache. Oh yeah, that's very nuggety. Is that not nuggety? <laughs> that is nuggety. I can't stand to see the chocolate crumbs on the white <laughs> counter. <laughs> it's really bothering me. I'm filled with anxiety, and I'm trying to smile. Very nuggety. Uh, I think I wanna wash my hands and start to like dig and carve away at this cake before I add more nuggety pieces. Excuse me? I like the way you cake it. So nuggety. I gotta cake it up. 
You, you need to come in in the background and be like, cake it up, girl. Okay? <laughs> We're going for 90s R&B. You know, like right here. Could be a little more nuggety. I can't believe I just did this on purpose. I'm making it nuggety. You can't say it isn't nuggety. We need the, um, the nugget chart. <laughs> we need the nugget meter to know if this is nuggety. There you have it. It's my cake for the week. It's a giant cake crumb. Thanks for joining me. <laughs> oh my God. Sorry, it's not an emergency. It's time to crumb coat and chill. I'm gonna crumb coat this cake with my leftover Bailey's chocolate ganache. It doesn't need to be perfect. I just need to keep all the crumbs in place on this giant nugget. And if you guys wanna up your crumb coat and chill game, you can pick up a crumb coat and chill bundle at hattacake.com. It has a lot of the things you see on my tool wall. And this apron. <laughs> I'm crumb coating a crumb right now. This is, what do I always say this is? What's the movie again? Oh, no. <laughs> no. No. The one with, when something is in something is in, inter. Inception. Inception. <laughs> <laughs> I already made two batches of sponge toffee. Don't worry, I promise I'm still gonna show you how to do this. But as for these babies, I'm gonna use a mallet. This is basically like a meat tenderizer. And I'm just gonna break it and bash it apart. So I'll do one, you do the other. Okay. I'm gonna smash this. That was hilarious. I need to apply these small nuggets to the big cake before that sponge toffee sets. So I've gotta have these nuggets prepared. And I'm just gonna stand here with my scepter to make sure you do a good job. Breathe deeply. Two. Three. Not onto the floor! Oh, this is easy. I'm about to make sponge toffee. It's really simple. There's only four ingredients, which are sugar, clear corn syrup, water, and baking soda. So the first thing you need to do is pour your water, corn syrup, and sugar into the pot. Now I'm gonna turn the heat on, on my new burner. Ah, I'm like a new woman. I like to put the lid on my pot until the sugar mixture boils. Let it boil until you see some caramelization beginning in the pot. Then insert your candy thermometer. You want the sugar mixture to reach 300 degrees. Once it hits 300 degrees, quickly remove your pot from the heat and then whisk in your baking powder. You wanna be careful, you wanna stand back because it really foams up and rises in the pot. Now pour the mixture into a prepared pan. Your pan should be lined with parchment paper on the bottom and the sides. You can use a bit of shortening to hold it in place. Usually you wanna let this mixture sit and cool in the pan completely untouched. This is because all the spongy bubbles are forming inside. But in this case, we're gonna spoon it directly onto our cake. Here I come, golden nugget. I think I'm just gonna try and pick the whole slab up and form it over the cake. I mean, I feel like I just made a sculpture. Yeah. It's really weird. Yeah. I'm just adding some of my sponge toffee pieces from before, and I wanna just break it open, revealing the spongy part. I feel like a nugget is spongy. Nuggety and spongy, that's what I'm going for. Okay, second batch. How do I even, I honestly don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing it. So my idea of pouring it on wouldn't have really worked because it would have melted everything on the cake, but I let the batch cool slightly and now I'm just placing it on. Ooh, and I can like rip it open. Look at that. That is downright nuggety. While the sponge toffee sheet is still soft, it's easier to push my little nuggets into the sponge toffee. 
Last batch. Is it all covered over here? Okay. It's a nugget. I'm gonna paint this nugget gold. I might break a record for how much gold I'm about to paint on this cake. I'm gonna melt my earring. No. <laughs> I wish these were real. <laughs> Normally I mix my gold luster with clear food grade alcohol, but today I'm gonna mix it with Bailey's. I'm using a soft makeup brush and I'm just trying to work the gold into all the nooks and crannies. My VIP saw this episode two days ago. So if you wanna see my new videos before everyone else does on YouTube, sign up to be a VIP at howtocakeit.com. We'll send an email direct to your inbox with the entire episode. Hey everybody, put your sunglasses on. <laughs> so much gold. You actually take one big piece of gold. gold. <laughs>